Hey guys, Alex Kaiju fans coming at you guys in another video. Today's going to be a video in regards to Shin Ultraman. Now, for those of you who don't know, in 2021, Shinji Higuchi and Hideaki Anna will release Shin Ultraman. And those two worked on Neon Genesis Evangelion as well as Shin Godzilla, which, in my personal opinion, Shin Godzilla was in a very odd place. In my opinion, as a person who loves to watch giant monster movies and tokusatsu and kaiju, I found Shin Godzilla to be very boring and pretty lackluster in a lot of areas but still with some of his shiny moments. As a person who loves history and politics, I thought Shin Godzilla was very good in that regard, but it just generally depends on the type of mindset you have to watch Shin Godzilla. Either way though, we could take a look to this new image of Shin Ultraman, and what you'll notice here is that Shin Ultraman doesn't actually have a color timer, and the reason for this is because it's based on concept art from Turu Naida, which basically depicted him with no color timer. Now, when I personally look at this model of Shin Ultraman, something seems really off about him. I don't know why. I think the CGI could definitely use some more refreshing with it. I just generally feel that Ultraman looks very transparent in the background. He almost blends in with the mountain and the sky a little bit. I just think that maybe if you increase the opacity of the image for Ultraman's model, that generally may look better. But it just seems pretty off to me for some reason. Either way though, it's kind of curious to see what they will do with Ultraman that having a color timer. Now for those of you who don't know, the color timer is basically a warning device that exists on Ultraman that states that he only has three minutes to remain on Earth or else he will never be able to rise again. And the reason why the color timer was made, generally for production reasons, was because generally the Ultraman episodes ran for about 23 minutes. So in contrast to shows such as Godzilla or Gamera, they generally weren't able to flesh out a lot of the conflict or the fights. The other reason why is just because generally it's a television show and not a big budget movie, the budget was significantly lower in contrast to movies such as Godzilla or Gamera, so they had to make do with what little time they had in practical budgets in regards to special effects. But thankfully though, we could see that because of the fact that this is a movie, Ultraman would probably have more time to shine as the hero of the story. If you take a look to any of the other Ultraman movies, you'll typically see that Ultraman can fight for around 15 minutes and not suffer any sort of fatigue unless he takes some major form of damage. Now, in my honest opinion, I think Shin Ultraman is going to be a pretty interesting movie. I'm just kind of curious on now, who is he going to fight? Is he going to fight a brand new monster? Or is it going to be like Shin Godzilla and he's literally by himself by the whole time? Either way, though, I'm just kind of curious to see how the movie is going to ma be made. Is there going to be a lot of religious context and allegories similar to Neon Genesis Evangelion? Or is it also going to deal with political and social and issues similar to Shin Godzilla. Either way though, I think Shin Ultraman will definitely be an addition, a very interesting one in regards to the Ultraman franchise, and I hope that it introduces more people to Ultraman. Generally, in my opinion, I think that Ultraman and its awareness have increased over the last two years. We can take a look to how Ultraman movies were English dubbed back in 2017, and this allowed for Ultraman to be brought over here into the United States. You can also take a look to the fact that Ultraman had its own Netflix show, so that generally made Ultraman more aware and brought in its audience base from an international perspective. And I think it's great that Tsuburaya Productions won the lawsuit against Chayo and are now starting to expand their product to an international basis. So now people in the West can see that there are more heroes from the East than just Godzilla and Gamera. And I don't think many people even know who Gamera is, but people do know who Power Rangers are, and that's not really even much of a Western hero. That's more of an Eastern hero that's been Americanized. By the way, folks, what do you think about Shin Ultraman? Do you like the design? What are you looking forward to? Are you just completely angry? And are you going to get into your rant mode in the comment section about how this is an absolutely terrible design and how they need the color timer because they're fundamentally destroying Ultraman's character? What do you think? I am honestly excited to see what you folks think about this. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.